Happy Sunday! Today, what I'm doing is I'm going to Alberta Street in Portland, the neighborhood. Well, it's a street, but they call it a neighborhood. And I'm going to film a typography video. I'm really excited about it. I'm going by myself, which is chill. I just feel, I just get nervous sometimes, like, filming stuff in public. I don't know why. But this will be a good experiment for me to learn how to get past that. So, I'm going to go by myself, I'm going to make it happen, and I'm excited about it. I love that street, and I'm really excited to edit the video and put it up. The video I'm editing and putting up right now is, uh, the video is titled The Networking Game. And when I moved here from Phoenix, I was going to, uh, all these events. <laughs> Sit in my bed. I was going to all these events by myself and it was just kind of scary and I wanted to have more of like a purpose for every time I went that didn't take much thought and preparation for each time I went to an event. So um, we came up with a game and that's what the video is going to be about. The intro, so I'm having a lot of fun filming my intros for these videos. And the this one, my friend Tyler Philippi helped me film the beginning, and I think it turned out pretty cute. So that'll be up when I get back from running errands. And the errands I'm running are... Okay, so I'm going to Alberta Street, and then I'm going to go to Whole Foods, because as you know, I'm trying to go zero waste in my kitchen. And this has to happen very slowly and with lots of preparation. So I know that my entire kitchen can't be zero free yet. I mean waste free. I haven't even had any caffeine today. I think I should get some before I go on this little trek of mine. But there are a couple staple foods I always buy every week or every couple weeks that I'm out of that I'm gonna try to get today in zero waste fashion I guess I'm not sure what to call it and that's like almonds and almonds is the big one because I always buy them from whole uh, Trader Joe's and they come in just like a package but I'm gonna bring my own glass container today and to Whole Foods and they give you 10 cents off if you do that and I'm going to buy some almonds I'm gonna bring some extra containers just to see what else I feel like buying um, so I'll bring you along for that. And then what else? Oh, okay. So, the past few days it's been TechFest Northwest, um, in Portland, which is a conference surrounded, it's a conference about technology, right? So, for example, I mean, technology, design, kind of just what the world is doing right now with tech. Internet, products, startup startups, anything along those lines. So for example, there were people from Intel there, there were people from Nike there, there was the CEO of the Dollar Shave Club there, if you know who that is. I had an interesting interaction with him and I didn't know who he was when he came up to me and it was just kind of funny. And then like a couple minutes later I saw him walk on stage and I was like, oh. Huh. He like made a joke and I just like la I giggled with him. I don't know, but I didn't know it was him. It was just interesting. Anyway, he was super nice. Um, it was the shit. I love going to events like these because I have said this before and I will say it again because I think as a creative and someone who's been running their own business, especially as a creative, I believe, this is just my belief, I believe that you shouldn't just be influenced by design. Like, the last thing I honestly ever want to do is read and learn from other designers. I mean, I do, and I enjoy that, but for my own work, especially my personal, like, passion projects, and not even, but specifically, I like to really be influenced by other things in life, like architects, or books, or fashion, or nature. Nature and history are like big ones. And events like these, and 
are amazing for that because these people who are talking at them aren't in the same medium as you. But they're in the same mindset. I mean, they're people trying to create something and trying to make people feel things from what they're making. They're trying to make people interact with what they're doing. And that is a common denominator for design and many other avenues in life in general. And I love events like that. And it was fucking awesome! I really enjoyed it. It was pretty cool because after the first day I was at this after party, um, Nike, I think it was Nike, yeah, Nike threw this after party for the attendees and I was there and I get this, I was tweeting, like live tweeting all day just on my account of things that I was getting from the event and I got a message from Lizzie, the program director of Tech Fest Northwest, and she asked me to be the official tweeter for day two, and that was really cool and awesome. So I did that for the second day. I was the official tweeter for it, and it was really cool. Um, I don't talk about this very often. Um, I don't... I might start talking about it more, but I've really struggled with school and education my entire life. It's been really hard for me. Um, I like, I don't think my family thought I was really going to pass multiple grades. <laughs> throughout my life, and I almost didn't pass multiple grades throughout my life. Um, I was diagnosed with ADHD in 5th, 6th grade, and I was put on medication for it then. I was put on Adderall. I was put on Adderall, and I took Adderall until middle of high school, and then they put me on Concerta, which if you know anything about Concerta and Adderall, they are... I'm not a fan of them. We don't need to get into the politics of medication. But, um... I've just always had a hard time absorbing information. And I was put in these programs after school to help with that. Um, for instance, I had a lot of trouble reading and retaining information. And I still do today. I have to read pages three times over to fully get the idea of what they're trying to say, to just fully absorb the information. And so now if I have to read something online, I mean, I can read an article, it's fine, but what really helps me is highlighting all the text and having it read to me, and I do that often, and I read it while it's being read to me and I absorb the information much quicker and that's just how I learn and it's always been a struggle for me it's always been really hard and in turn growing up and this is not it's my family's fault whatsoever it's very internal um in turn growing up I never felt good enough I never felt smart I never felt validated and I never felt like I was good at anything because because I wasn't really in society, I guess, in the world I was in with, and I guess just with standard education. I, I don't know. I have learned about Montessori schools recently, and I wish I grew up going to Montessori school because I think it just would have helped me so much more. And what I'm trying to get at is that I've never felt like I was looked at as someone who someone would want to what am I trying to say just got me all emotional I've never really felt like I was the type of person that people would want to know what was going on up inside my head like that it was of any value and I know this might sound silly but it's how I've felt and I 
I hold true to that. That's how I felt and yeah, it's something I should work on and get through and you know, I'm trying to. But them, as silly as this might sound, them asking me to be the official tweeter for the day because of what I was tweeting on my own account when there was all these other people tweeting that they could have asked to do that. It like really meant something to me and I think the lesson here is just always be yourself and just do you and do the best you do for you and you can be part of cool things and being part of that was awesome because you got to be I got to interact with other people talking about important topics and important conversations and I got to help spread the word of these people that we look at because we want to know what's going on inside their head you know and it's just so it's just pretty fucking cool <laughs> And it meant a lot, and I don't know, it was cool. So if you, if you, anyone out there ever feels like they're struggling with school or they aren't good enough at something, like, just keep working at things that you enjoy and that you do feel good doing, and keep doing that, and do it the best you can, and Find your passion and just don't stop until you find it. <laughs> and listen to what people tell you, especially if they're praising things you do or they're like enjoying the things you're putting out into the world. Pay attention to them. I ran out of space. I'm not even sure what I was saying anymore. But the point I was just trying to make is that if you... Just find what you're good at and keep doing it. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Define your own success and keep doing it. That's the best advice I can give. Okay. I'm gonna go film Alberta now and then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and then I'm gonna come home and watch The Killing and... I think I'm gonna do some laundry. I still never know where to look on this. Well, I know where to look. It's just hard to look there. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll put some clips in here from... From Tech Fest. I probably will. Yep, we'll do that now. No, 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 no. Okay, Tech Fest is this weekend, and tonight is the tech crawl to start it off. Day one of Texas. Today, you know, it was about a year ago that my co-founder Sean and I just arrived in Portland. Hey guys, we're at Tech Fest day two. This is the final presentation for Tech Fest this year.